not a beetle, it's not a beetle, and I do greet you, hello, good morning, and I'm sorry for my tardiness and being late today. Good, now you know who I am. And um, I've been climbing up a tower trying to fix things. We were supposed to be on bushwalk today, Craig and I. Craig is on camera, hello Craig. That's Craig's very loud voice you can hear in the background there. Uh, and Craig found us our first object of the day, and I believe it to be something uh, similar to what is called Homo Homoeocerus auriculatus. That one, you see? But it is not the same. It is similar though, so it comes from the family Corridae, twig wilters, squash bugs, and leaf footed bugs. There it is, very nice. Excellent. Right, let's put it under the microscope because it's the most wonderful lime green colour. We are as live as Taylor and Jamie, although it's a very truncated version of our drive today. Uh, just an hour left. Uh, so hashtag Safari Live us if you would like to. And you can ask any questions or give us any comments. There we go. That there, everybody, is this bug that looks a little bit like Homeocerus auriculatus. It uh, has no common name. A leaf wilter, a twig wilter, squash bug, or leaf footed bug. But isn't he lovely? He's got the most beautiful colours. We'll just go to his backside now and see if we can focus in there. There we are. And I just love also his sapphire coloured eyes. And as I said yesterday, when we were fossicking around the tent, finding all sorts of interesting things, this time of the year, great for looking at these insects and bugs, because just, especially in the morning, a little bit too cold for them to be too excited. Craig thought it might be an assassin, but it isn't. It doesn't have the right proboscis. And so I think we're quite safe. But quite often these things smell very nasty. And so I don't think we're going to disturb him for too much longer. We'll let him escape quietly out into the wilderness. Off you go, 